Hey, what a great day it is today. It is Sunday afternoon and it is beautiful out. I just wanted to make a quick video, kind of a different vibe. Didn't want to make anything scripted or edited, nor do we create scripted videos, but I just wanted to make it a little bit different. You know, coming from the heart, I want to talk about a subject that I thought is very, or I think is very important, and that's confidence. I was never very a outgoing person in the beginning. Most of you guys may, you know, think I'm outgoing now or still may think I'm quiet, but I've changed a lot. I've done a lot more YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook, all of that. Been banging those out every single day and every week because I feel like that's really important delivering the message that God wants me to speak on where he's leading me. I think that's super important. But I never was that type of guy, especially a few years ago. In school, I never liked school, but in school I would always be considered the quiet guy. Or people would call me the smart guy, and I wasn't even that smart. But they, they would think I'm smart because I was so focused and like the goody-goody kid. Whatever, whatever that freaking means but i'm not saying introverted is a bad thing but i definitely was an introvert i feel like a person needs both introvert and extrovert characteristics because being quiet actually helped me a lot with physically mentally and spiritually like thinking and ideas generating ideas and spending time with myself that's very important Spending quality time with yourself and also spending quality time with the Lord it was very important. But there's also another side of creating relationships. And that's a side I lacked. And my mom always taught, taught me, you always had to reach out to people because they were never going to reach out to you. I always thought about that because, I mean, it was true. Like, literally, I had little friends you know and i had friends but we would not hang out as much right because i wasn't reaching out i wasn't interested i wasn't putting the attention to hanging out with them playing basketball or football so i had to really change my perspective on building that confidence up and delivering interest to my friends you know, playing basketball, hanging out, playing football, I always had to ask them because the number of times I asked them consistently, then they would always ask me. So it was due to my part and the lack of communication on my part that we wouldn't hang out. And that was a serious problem that I had to solve. And I'm thankful that my mom taught me that because I would have never figured that out. But that helped me gain a lot of confidence. Also with creating this landscape company, talking with customers and different people every day, that gave me a lot of confidence with talking with people. Uh, at first I was very quiet, but now I'm really, I consider myself outspoken now and an introvert. So I'm kind of both, but I just, I don't mind being both at all because I feel like there's also you know, great ways and being both, you know, with uh, spending time with yourself as an introvert or an extrovert, creating relationships. You always got to create relationships, though. And the point of this video is to create confidence. Confidence is huge. Not a lot of people have confidence. There's a lot of people that are outspoken that you may think are confident, but they may be really insecure actually i know plenty of people who are like that sadly and it's 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 tough to to realize that they are but you know in in the inside they may be really insecure so i feel like really being confident in yourself confident in what you believe in is very important it's very important because people trust you more when you're confident people believe in you more it's just like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, all the top dogs, Tom Brady in sports. All they're the leaders. They were the leaders of the team. 
or the top dogs of the squad. The players, their teammates, look up to them. And when they see that they're very confident and they know that they're going to win the game, like, it's over. Like, the confidence is so huge and confidence is so contagious. It attracts people. But what I'm trying to tell you is you need to be confident in life. You need to be confident in where you're trying to go. Because when you stay quiet and stick to yourself, you may not get that contract or that, that business relationship or that opportunity because you, you stayed on the down low. And sometimes it's good to stay on the down low in specific uh, ways. And then there's other times where you know you need to move. You need to get uncomfortable. You need to live in that uncomfortable situation so it can persevere you to that next level. I think that's super important. And it'll also carry you and your confidence to different levels that you will actually surprise yourself with. I've been surprising myself with this. I've been creating these videos now from like kinda last year, really, or two years ago. But it's really changed my confidence level. I mean, you do it multiple times. You don't even have to post it, but just do a video of yourself, like just talk about something. I guarantee your confidence level will boost up and people will believe in you more. Because the Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryants, their teammates believed in them because they know they win. They stay focused on winning. And they do it not by themselves, but with the whole team. They realize that they need the whole team to be focused to win. And when they're confident in that, like, like I said, it's over. The team is unstoppable. But you need to you need to be the guy, you need to be the gal that needs to change how you talk and how you speak and communicate to others. Because that will change the way how people view you, value you, especially in business, with your family, your friend relationship, with your wife, with your husband, whatever that looks like. It'll change the view and value of how people look at you in the long term. So I just wanted to make this quick video. I know it wasn't that quick, honestly, it's eight minutes, but I feel like I just had to speak from the heart from this. I hope you guys have a great week coming and keep going strong 2023. Let's go.